Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you some more about uh, frame mesh inside ZBrush for R6. Okay, here is a similar pumpkin to the one I was working on before, but this time I have hollowed him out and put some goodies inside. So, I, unfortunately I have um, collapsed the top of um, the pumpkin so I can't open it up and see what's inside. So we're going to get around that. Um, to do that, let's, uh, let's see, okay, polyframe, two polyframes, that's nice, I don't, uh, let's see, let's turn that on, uh, under stroke and curve functions, right underneath, right underneath curve, I uh, turned polygroups on, um, but we won't need that because we're not going to worry about the different polygroups in our scene. What we're going to focus on is the border. Now what this is, is if we control shift and select a region of space to isolate it, oh, eyeballs, <laughs> um, and then control shift, click and drag outside your scene to invert that, then it uh, inverts the selection. Okay, now let's go back up to stroke Okay, make sure border is selected, and let's zoom in a little bit just so we can see this better. And uh, yeah, okay, that's good. Okay, stroke, uh, border, uh, frame mesh. And just like before, it has um, uh, put a fancy outline around all of the uh, um, hidden geometry. Okay, now we can, I'll well, make sure this is visible, now we can uh, press B and again curve multi-tube. Uh, I'm a little nervous to try any of the others because it would have uh, unexpected results and stuff so let's just stick with curve multi-tube. But now uh, it highlights red and uh, Let's see, you can also adjust the color you're using. So if we click, we get this color. Oh, but polyframe, you can't really see that. Okay, then uh, undo. Let's choose a different color. Red. Uh, okay, click. And you could do this multiple times, and it would retain uh, each... Uh, uh, frame mesh that you use so if you had multiple let's uh, do that again just for practice sake control shift click in the middle okay now stroke border frame mesh selected it you can okay you don't have to have it hidden it it's there so the outline won't disappear now we can choose a different color blue that's that's good and we've got more geometry. Just like we use this curved multi-tube to carefully uh, weave around the uh, pumpkin to create stuff. This helps you do it in an organized fashion and let's do it a little bit more. Okay, so control shift, click, okay, then just as before, stroke, border, frame mesh, Control click, unhide. Now, uh, yeah, that's good. I like that one. Now let's adjust the brush size. So let's make it bigger. Okay, now it's a little bit bigger. Control Z, let's do it a little bit bigger so we can see it. Okay, good. Now Control Shift, click this area, and frame mesh unhide. Now let's make this brush really small. Okay, and see if that has any different effect. Okay, yeah, that's a good color. Wait, okay, yeah, make sure the draw size is uh, small. And then click, and just as it, it creates small geometry. Now isn't that the coolest thing in the world? I really love this feature and I'm really excited to talk about how to use this with creased edges.
pretty exciting. Stay tuned, subscribe, and comment. Thanks, everybody.